I can only apologize about the quality of the audio on this one because I am almost 90% certain I've left my microphone for it back in the flat. Um, whether or not I was switched on enough this morning to move it into my other bag from my old gym bag is another story. Um, but either way, we're in a real tight schedule. Basically, um, as per usual, I got put on doing more packets at work. So I was a little bit later leaving. Um, and then me and Jamie were in a bit of a rush to pack the car. So we didn't actually get to Mike until, what was it, like four? Yeah. Um, but traffic leaving Bristol was an absolute nightmare, uh, which it always is, it's always shit, um, especially on a Friday night. Um, so it's like 6.20 now, so we've got to be at the Rio Arena between, by basically registration closes at 8, so we've got to get there as early as possible. Um, to make sure I'm registered so there's no time for stopping and seeing if the mic's in the back or um, stopping for toilet breaks, food breaks and whatnot. Um, I've, uh, I've had my fifth meal already and it's 20 past six but I think the distraction of um, getting the tan done getting to the hotel uh, and getting registered and everything will be more than enough to keep me off my food. Um, basically today I've had three meals of 80 grams of turkey with um, 70 gram dry weight obviously cooked up in rice. Um, obviously that over three meals with loads of asparagus because I bought too much so I thought I may as well make it, use it all up. Um, and three meals of 100 grams of Rice Krispies snap, crackle and pop ones uh, and that's like, a, that is a godsend uh, even though I've swapped my calories for my fats and proteins out for carbs I'm still on the same calories so my body's used to ticking over on it and I'm still like I'm basically, what it's done is kind of given the muscles some more pop and some more volume um, but energy levels have not gotten any better, like you can see from how tight around this is definitely the tightest I've been for a show. Um, I remember watching back my Arnold videos and I was like, whoa, look at my face. Um, so, yeah, but it's, uh, it's all, all good, all confident and uh, feeling a little bit less stressed now because obviously when you've got to be somewhere and you're stuck in consistent traffic it's not as bad as it was um, it it definitely stresses you out um, and it's such an important event for me being that uh, the two bros is a big big deal um, I'm thankful that I got magic mic here to uh, drive my car because uh, I was getting <laughs> It's getting a little bit aggy, a little, ratty, a little bit ratty at the beginning with people because they sit in the outside lane and they need to move over. Um, and then, uh, oh, Jay there, sat, sat keep, <coughs> keeping himself out of trouble in the back. Not a lot you can do back here, bro. <laughs> you two beautiful babes. Um, so I think that I'll leave this in the capable hands of Jay when we get to A. Oh, hang on. Um, oh, mate, I think, I think, I don't. Ah, mm. fuck it. No, it's not. Oh, no, Mike. Mike's taken a wrong turn that has now added 10 minutes to our journey. <laughs> I, I'm glad he's laughing because it's not his. I'm going to cut the camera off now while we do stuff to Mike. Um, so we're now back on the right road. <laughs> uh, but yeah, so we uh, yeah we got to get registered registration on these shows tends to quite often be the day before 
uh, well the night before. I mean a lot of people have got to get spray tans and things. Fortunately for me I've got two handsome. Uh, I've got one really, really handsome guy and one uh, <laughs> work it out which one's which. <laughs> um, no, fortunately for me, I've got two friends to do it for me. Um, okay. Yeah, um, and I'll have my second coat done uh, tomorrow, uh, which is uh, a new one for me, having the double layers like that. Um, yeah, so it's just the case now. I, once registration's out of the way, I can chill and um, zone out for the evening because it's much needed after being in the car for way too long. fun bit now, like, it's where it all gets real, the tan. Uh, cliche as it is, every uh, show, I always have motivational videos on in the background on my iPad. Um, I've got a good playlist for the day as well. Um, because I've got a secret specialist at doing a tan. Mr. Perfectionist over here. <laughs> I was like, I was like, I was like, I was like, I I was like, I was like, I I I I Uh, so it is show day morning and is there a light above us? Yeah there is, that'll do. Yeah that makes it a little better. <laughs> it is show day morning. Um, I've had my tan done by the very particular artistic Jamie. <laughs> uh, yeah, he did, did a hell of a good job on the base tan. Uh, about between half hour and two hours before I go on stage, I'll do the top layer of tan, and then that'll take about 30 minutes to dry. And then before I go on stage, I can use the glaze and just as a little bit of a shout out for them because it is pretty sick products. Um, I am using the uh, Pro Tan like competition kit. Uh, it comes with a base coat, which is I'm not going to go and grab because it's not tan everywhere. Uh, instant bikini bronze top coat for that slightly lighter change. Really accentuate my breasts. <laughs> uh, and then Show Shine Posen Oil. So I'll put that on with a mitt and some latex gloves. Uh, I posted a photo last night of my current condition um, and just like, well one thing I want to say is I'm really overwhelmed with like um, the response it got and all of the people that maybe, you know, like wouldn't necessarily know too much about it that have all wished me luck. Um, but I had some really nice messages this morning. Uh, and basically I had to go, um, we're at a hotel based at a service station and there's a bridge that goes across the M6 to the other side of the services, uh, which I had to go to for the cafe for breakfast. Um, I took a fillet steak with me um, and as sad as it is for those who are really passionate about their steaks, they wouldn't cook it for me. So I um, asked for a mug of hot water stuffed the steak inside the mug of hot water and then rammed it in the baby microwave um, and it actually come out all right. I had three fried eggs uh, for the steak for breakfast and obviously then I had my, I've used these actually, uh, time for nutrition uh, water loss. So it's all, there's no 
The reason I stayed away from everything else is because there's no potassium in these. It's just like dandelion, juniper berry, uh, and green tea extract. So it's just stuff that kind of like, well, I guess you can pee in really. Um, I'm still drinking water today, like I said, I'm not dropping there. Um, so I've had those with breakfast. I've had two Matador, uh, which is like a insulin responsive carb loader. Um, and then I will, in a moment, have four rice cakes, maybe a squeeze of honey and some sliced banana. I literally just keeping it minimal today. Rice cakes, banana. Um, I was already really full last night. Uh, so after a good pump before I go on stage, I should be exactly where I need to be. Um, and it's just a waiting game now, really. Um, the second part of the show starts at four o'clock. Um, I'll check into my hotel around about two or three o'clock and get the lads to check out the show and sort of give me a rough idea of what time I need to be there so I can just literally get my head down and relax. Um, as hard as it is to sleep, uh, I'll try and get at least 40 winks. Um, but yeah, I'll give you a little physique update as to how I'm, how I'm looking. <clears throat> Maybe this way. <laughs> there we go. Very pleased with how I've come in for this show. It's definitely my uh, definitely my best condition, um, fullest. This is one of the, I. Everyone's messaged me like, "What have you done differently this year?" And I'll be bite the bullet and be 100% honest. Um, I've actually stuck to my diet 110%. Um, the sad fact of it is, is like before on preps you think, oh, you know, my metabolism is running really well, like I can get away with eating this and get away with eating that, and it's case it's just not. Um, I haven't had those little diet breaks and those little slip ups uh, where they've not been said to be. Like if, if I've been told I have an off plan meal, I've kept it either like a Nando's or a, like a Nando's and a bit of chocolate that I wanted. But I mean, that was about what, when did we go? Was it Nando's that we went? Um, about eight weeks ago, wasn't it? Yeah, yeah. So, um, but I haven't had a proper cheat meal for like God knows how long. Um, so, um, yes, yeah, uh, that that's all it is. There's no magic trick, no secret, no special um, magic tablet, whatever. Like I've literally just done that. Um, so again, like thank you for the messages this morning. I said someone messaged me saying that. Um, I'd inspired them to like get back into it again and that in itself is kind of what I wanted to do with these videos because I, to be honest, yesterday I was feeling really like, oh, and like in the car I was stressing about getting here and things um, and the boys were like, oh, should, you know, should we film you at registration? And I wish I had, um, but I just didn't want to be on the camera, I was in a like foul mood and it's just, once, but once I was relaxed and everything was done, I was just like, oh, I can chill now. Um, it wasn't even a rush in the end, um, but that message this morning has made me think, right, I'm going to really cover show day, get a really good video out there, um, so I'll probably upload it in two parts, being this will be the part one, and then once I'm all like at the venue, I'll leave the camera in Mike's hands, and I will take my iPad with me, so when we go for a meal afterwards, I'll slap all the videos Mike's got done for me together, and upload it for the second one, so you guys can sort of keep on uh, on top and keeping, uh, well, just keeping sync with what's been going on. Um, those of you that wanted to be here that couldn't, or those of you that are just interested in it and keeping follow. So yeah.